what? We bought, we bought a house! So guys, we bought a house, and welcome back. It's been so long since we filmed the video, and I think you can probably guess why. There's just been a lot going on. It's definitely a time we wanted to record, but we couldn't, and we didn't want to like record about the house too soon until we got it, and then it was hectic moving in, so all those excuses, but we're back now. So the next clips that you'll see are actually of Trevor filming the house before we even had put an offer in. We'd seen a few houses, had been hunting a little bit, um, but we saw this house first and instantly no other house compared and we continued to think about this one. And then we... And he wasn't going to climb where? <laughs> and this is a be in this video. Next one, okay? Next one. So we put in an offer for this house a little sooner than we had expected to purchase a house, but we're no, it wasn't that we weren't ready, we just had planned on looking a little longer. These videos are of us filming it before we even put an offer in. So the tour starts off in the basement. You come in from the garage into the basement and it's unfinished right now. Um, the video is a little dark and gloomy, but you get the gist of it. We have plans to finish it. Lots of good plans that include a theater room, uh, my own office downstairs. Right now we're just going to use an upstairs bedroom until we get the downstairs finished. We are also going to add a bathroom that will have a tub in it, a big tub. And last we will have a kids play area. So next we're headed up the stairs and you come up the stairs and right to the front door. And from there it's pretty open concept. Uh, there's still walls and like half walls, but you can look into the living room and there's a half wall. You can see right into the kitchen. And my favorite part of the whole thing is the beautiful big windows that you see in the dining room. It just adds so much light. built-in bookshelves that we have in the living room. Um, the wood paneling we weren't too keen on when we first saw it, but we had ideas, had plans on how to handle that. But the rest of the house is actually um, completely updated. So the previous owners didn't actually live here. All they did was just update it and then flip it and sell it. And everything that I wanted. I thought originally I wasn't going to be a huge fan of dark cabinets. That was one of the things we told them we didn't want was I wanted a white, a white kitchen. White everything. But just seeing this place and seeing it updated and have really nice finishes, I didn't really care. <laughs> I thought it looked gorgeous and very well done and I think in the end that's all that really We also got brand new appliances. Uh, we got a big fridge compared to um, our apartment fridge. We could put probably double the food in, which is good because I like food. Um, also, we got a brand new uh, range oven. I don't know if it's necessarily called a range because we got the oven is separate than the microwave, yet the microwave is above the oven. Um, the oven is actually electrical and it lights up red on the <laughs> heaters things instead of actually using gas or the little coily things. So that's cool. I really like 
the bar stool area on the other side of the kitchen peninsula and then separating that from the dining room it just adds like some really cool seating um, with bar stools and then the kitchen table will be right there so then on the other side of the house opposite of the kitchen and dining room living room and then the other side is all the bedrooms so there's two bedrooms and then a, well three bedrooms two and a master there's a hallway bathroom with a laundry room and then there's a master bathroom and the bedrooms are nicely sized and they we thought they were good enough for us we're really excited about the laundry room area just to have our own laundry when you live in an apartment that doesn't is such a big deal um, and then the rest of the bedrooms were just nicely finished and nicely done and all that we needed but yeah it's great having laundry upstairs meaning we don't have to carry laundry up and down the stairs space is really nice as well uh, that was another thing that was surprising to me at least was a lot of times when we were viewing houses the closet space was just like okay and I think that these are really nice for whenever or if ever we have kids or just storage in general or for guests when they come over to put their stuff in there's plenty of them. master bedroom I think it's enormous like, it's, big. it's a big room and it makes it even bigger because the bathroom which uh, he'll turn in a little bit and show you that doesn't have a door over the double vanity so it could turn the room even bigger because you just look right into the bathroom which is really cool and really nice and it also makes the bathroom look bigger because it's not closed off and so I like that Another thing I like is that we have the two really nice windows to let in light. And we've got the window that looks to our neighbor's yard and a window that looks to our backyard. We also have a nice walk-in closet that most of my stuff takes <laughs> things about this house, at least it's cool for me, is that we have an attic fan, which I've never seen an attic fan before, so this is just brand new to me. But the attic fan is amazing. Um, attic fan. Attic fan. Attic fan. <laughs> attic fan. Um, it just makes, I don't know, it makes the house so much cooler. It just blows air through everywhere, which is great. Yeah, we tested it out when we were just here looking, and if you like open one other window and turn that attic fan on in the hallway, it rushes air throughout the whole entire house. One of the things we looked at for in a house was to make sure that we had enough uh, room for Sky to play, so we wanted a decent backyard. There was a few other houses that had a lot bigger backyards that we liked, but the house itself wasn't what we were looking for, so we kind of got um, a decent sized backyard. It'd be great if it was bigger, but it will do with only having sky.
we filmed these clips, we put an offer in on the house. We had talked about it, I think this was probably our second or third time at this house. And at this point we were just like, okay, like this is a really nice house, it's flipped, it's in a wonderful neighborhood. I know we weren't ready quite yet, but let's do it. So we put in an offer a little bit lower than their asking price and asked for a few other things as well. Um, and instantly, right after on our way home, we got a call back from our realtor saying that they counter-offered and we wound up accepting their counter-offer. So it was ex ex totally exciting. I cried in the car. We called his mom, we called my mom, and just gave everybody the news that tentatively the house was ours. <laughs> Still needed bank stuff, but that's boring. It was so exciting. Really? Or are you being sarcastic? No, it was very exciting. It was annoying and stupid, but it was exciting. Yeah. We're not going to talk about that. So then, a ways down the road, after all the bank stuff and the legal crap and the signing and everything like that, the house was ours. And we got a key, and these next clips are our first night in the house. We brought Sky over, brought a few things over, and spent a night in a very, very empty, weird house. Not to mention... We slept on couch cushions. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think? I made a mess. Oh. No! We're home! <laughs> Guy, what do you think of the house? What do you think of the house? She's like, I don't know. She really wants to know it's down there. Let's go. Go on. Go, go, go. While buying the house, we had two things that we wanted to change. The very first thing was we needed to paint that wood panel living room. We talked about getting rid of the paneling, but we didn't know if there was actually a wall behind it, and then we'd have to do a whole wall. So we just decided we liked the texture of the wood paneling. We just wanted it to match the house a little bit more by being more modern, and we just paint it white. So that was one of the first things we did. After we got done with the painting, we wanted to make sure that Sky had a yard to play in. Since the house we got did not have a fence on all sides, we decided that it was something we needed to do. We actually uh, ended up putting it in the offer itself, so we actually got the house with the fence. So pretty much about a week after we moved in with Sky, uh, the fence was put up and Sky put it to the test. we got the keys the weekend was when we did our big move Trevor's family came we got a u-haul we loaded everything up and we actually moved everything from our apartment to the house so my family came about two and a half hours to come help us move 
Um, some of them were thrilled about it. Some of them, like Josh, was not so thrilled about helping move. Um, I told them that I guaranteed that we wouldn't have to move for a while so they don't have to help. Uh, it's just a lot of work, especially for old people like me. So moving everything from the apartment to the house was super fast paced and we wanted to film a lot more but I think we only wound up getting like one clip. Just everything started happening so quickly and there was just so much going on and we were directing people where to go and it's like a half hour drive from our apartment to our house so it was just a lot to take in of what was happening so we didn't film a whole whole lot. This is the current state of our apartment. Definitely making some progress. I mean, maybe you can't tell, but all of the kitchen cabinets are empty. So everything is empty. Um, the bedroom is mostly done. The boys just went to get the U-Haul and we'll be good to go. And now we're moved in, for the most part. There's still a lot we need to get, like a kitchen table, and I want to get new living room furniture and rugs and all these things. <laughs> Trevor's just looking at me. But we're moved in for the most part. Some things are still in progress. I think with a new house we're always going to have projects. So I've got a long laundry list of things that we need to do all the time. Like clean the gutters and pick up leaves in the yard. and mow we need a lawn mower <laughs> but we're in kind of and this is where our life will be from here on out stay tuned for more greatness Woo! bye guys Boop. <laughs> and we got a cat no next oh. video <laughs>